exposed to help. All right. Well, health care debate, one of the big things happening on Capitol Hill. Of course, yesterday the stock market hit 10,000. And there's some other things we're going to talk to our congressman about here this morning, Brian Bilbray, joining us to talk about, uh, well, the health care and things like that. Congressman, are you on the phone? Yeah, I'm on the phone. That was a great hearing with the Secretary of Veterans uh, yesterday, too. So we were uh, trying to make sure we get everything straightened out one way or the other. Yeah, so um, let's talk about, let's start with, uh, I, I figured we cover a few topics. Let's start with the uh, stock market hitting 10,000. And obviously some people are feeling pretty good about this. Well, you feel good if you're investing in Wall Street, but this is a jobless recovery, and that's what's got everybody very concerned, that um, it, um, all, everything that we seem to be doing in Washington seems to be doing fine for Wall Street, but not Main Street. So there's a real concern that um, the unemployment levels were never supposed to get anywhere close to this high, and, and they continue to show uh, some real problems. So yeah, you know, Wall Street can celebrate, but uh, again, the job market's still pretty tough. Yeah, you're absolutely right. You know, yesterday I actually saw a news report about the uh, stocks for some of the major banks, including Wells Fargo and Bank of America. I mean, their profits are up something like 300%. Yeah, and it is. And, and then, you know, we just, we just been running into some stuff and oversight about um, some of the stuff some of the banks did in the last couple of years with members of Congress and administration uh, basically given some sweetheart deals, it looks like. So we may have a whole new uh, scandal um, involving Republicans and Democrats when it comes down to the banking institutions and what kind of loans they gave people in Congress and people in administration. Wow. So I think we're going to have a bipartisan uh, problem here. And uh, right now, the biggest problem is trying to get everybody to agree to open up their books and go for it. And i got to tell you, Daryl Ice, our local congressman, who's really led a charge on this, and mm -hmm. uh, he's going to take a lot of heat because nobody likes to open up their financial records, especially politicians. Yeah, we're, yeah I know. Uh, we're going to actually talk to uh, the congressman coming up in a little bit. And speaking of oversight and government oversight, can you talk about this Charlie Rangel situation, the head of the tax writing committee who hasn't, who was basically accused of not paying taxes on rental properties, cash that he's got? I mean, this is huge. And yeah, this guy is, is refusing big, to step down. It is a big deal about the fact that the guy who's in charge of making our tax laws um, basically um, probably failed to claim as much as you make, Dan. So, I mean, it is a, it is a pretty, um, it's a big deal. Charlie's liked by everybody. Um, he is he is very much a, a um, um, you know a great team player usually, but this thing has really tainted him. Um, and if nothing else, step aside for a while until this thing can get clear um, cleared up. So then he can come back with without this um, this shadow and this this cloud over him. And yeah, it's so just, there, there is a real problem. There. It's ridiculous. I mean, if you're out here in the real world, you're just shaking your head saying, this can't actually be happening. It's just ridiculous. All right, let's talk about the health care debate uh, very quickly here. It got out of the Senate committee, and one Republican voted for it, and now the other Republican from Maine, if you can call her a Republican, I guess they're kind of moderate, but nonetheless, it looks like a couple of Republicans are on board, but everybody's still holding their nose, obviously. No, no. There's, I mean, they're moderates, and the fact is Republicans have them and the Democrats have them. We all try to meet in the middle every once in a while. But this was a conceptual agreement. you got to understand, Dan, there was nothing, there's no written text right. of by law. It was basically going out there. And the senators uh, pretty well said, look, you know, we got to still see what, what's written down. So this is totally a conceptual um, concept. What's kind of disconcerting is today, this morning, You've got a whole lot of backroom deals going on, and those moderates are not in the, um, allowed to be in those meetings. So there's, there's going to be a real concern here that what comes out, and do we have time to read it? And that's why a lot of us are supporting 30 days for the American people to know what kind of health care proposal has been written down, not a conceptual approval. And hopefully um, the, uh, the powers that be in Washington have learned from what happened in August, give not only the, the congressman time to read something before they're asked to vote for it, give the American people a chance to read it before they're expected to accept it. Or at least the cliff note version. Well, at least. But at right least now, this is, this is totally conceptual. They're trying to shoot for something. I think you're going to see both sides shooting at that because it gives everything for um, everyone to hate. And, um, but yeah. let's just see what it looks like when it's, once it's written down. Let's take the time 
to write it down and read it before you, um, they start demanding that people vote on it. Well, the real battle is definitely still ahead. Congressman, thanks a lot. And by the way, I don't want to make you jealous or anything. I know you were here last weekend when there was no waves, but they're coming in about seven feet today. Oh, Dan, don't tell me that. I'm sitting here, and it's drizzly and cold in Washington, and you're telling me. I knew this was going to happen. I drove up and down the coast all weekend with my surfboard looking for something. I know. You were at the station with your surfboard in your car. Yeah, and there was, there was nothing at La Jolla, Puebla, or nothing. anywhere. I know. Okay. Sorry about that. It's all about timing, right? It's all about timing, it's just like politics. You got it. Congressman, thank you so much.